It's workbench time, and on the workbench today we have three locomotives. This new yeah. Hornby M7 tank locomotive, which is here to be equipped with a DCC decoder. Blackmore Vale. We also have Blackmore Vale, which we've had for a little while. Yeah, and, and it's been running on the cherry tree now before, and it's not working anymore. Yeah, we've got some electrical problems with that one. It keeps shorting out, and the yeah. same story with our DCC sound equipped Flying Scotsman. And this is one we bought with the sound decoder already in. Yes, so I'm not sure we've even had it apart before, but that was also currently causing the controller to short out. So we're yeah. going to see if we can solve those two today. Hornby have very helpfully supplied these instructions on how to take the M7 apart and how to fit a DCC decoder in it. So that's really useful. They do suggest you've got to remove one of the weights that's in the side tanks. So I think I might have to do that. But if there's a way I can fit it in without removing a weight, that's preferable because it improves the traction and we need, to go, we need to make it go up and incline. There's a gradient on our layout, isn't there, Simon? Yeah. So all the, the, all the traction we can get is very useful. Let's see. We've got the M7 upside down in the servicing cradle. There are two screws to remove to get the chassis off. One is underneath this vacuum tank here, which slots into the coupling socket. So you've got to ease that out very carefully. And the other is at the back here. I think you can just about see it through the bogey there. So I've got to get a screwdriver in there to get that screw out, and then the chassis should, should come off. There's some detail on this side. Today. Just, just don't block out the light. Oh. There we go. So that's the vacuum tank removed. If I turn it over like this, can you see that there? There's the screw hole exposed. I actually zoomed in on that. Okay. Now we'll remove the front chassis screw. Look at that, there's a pair of tweezers, aren't there? wonder where my tweezers are. That's one, and then we'll turn it round. Just let me to get you a pop. That will be very helpful. Do it in a minute when I've done, undone this screw as well. But then you'll have to stop, because I will stop Yeah, that's pulling. fine. So the other screw is reachable through the bogey with a screwdriver. I think that's loose now. Okay, there's these little pipes here. Can you see those that connect the chassis to the body and those need to be deconnected very gently, pull them out with a pair of tweezers and then you can plug those back in again later. But they're very fiddly to remove. It's three there we go, oh. pretty sure I just snapped that one as well. So those will need to be glued back in place, I think. And glued back together. Okay, now, now we've separated it, we can remove the Oco chassis from the body. Mm, Put the that's body unsurprising to play carefully to, to like one that. side. Not really. So here's the decoder blanking plate. So I'm going to carefully remove that, which should reveal the decoder socket underneath. That's quite hard. It is quite fiddly, but there we go. Can and I push there, it in? There's the socket underneath exposed. Um, I think I'll do the plugging in of the decoder. It could be uh, quite easy. Easy. Yeah, I tell you what, I'll get it lined up. The danger here is that the pins can get bent. So I'll line it up. Oh, that's nice and easy to line up. Right, you push it home, Simon. That's it. The decoder's fitted electronically. That's all you need to do. We still need to get the loco back together and find a space to fit the decoder. But before we do that, we're going to give it a little test on our test, test line. Let's see if it all works. Test it. Okay, Simon, the chip is installed. Let's see if it moves. Yeah, that's good. Cool. Don't let it go too fast. Try it the other way. I'm going to try and get a call first. Yeah, that's... Good, slow call. Now reverse jerky, it. Jerky, quite jerky. Yeah, seems to work in both directions. That's good. Now, let's get it back together. Okay, so I have tried to fit the decoder in here without removing the weight, but no, fairly predictably, it's not gonna fit. So we've got to remove one of these weights in the side tanks. And to get to that, you first gotta remove this little filler cap on top. It should just come off with fingers. Yep, there it is, it's just come loose. So put that in my pot, keep it safe. And that reveals a screw underneath, which you need to remove to be able to get the uh, weight out.
Yep, there's the screw. And then flip it over, put it in the loco servicing cradle, and then we should be able to remove the weight on this side. Here, a little bit of prizing with a screwdriver, which I definitely can't do with one hand. Here's the weight now removed. It was just held in type with what the one screw I removed and the little piece of double-sided tape. So it needed a bit of prizing out and that's made a bit more space down one side there in which hopefully we can fit the decoder. Okay, so I've got it all back together. Uh, there's plenty of space in there now for the decoder down the side there. Just need to put the two screws in that hold the chassis into the body and then it should be good to go. Okay, so we've got it all back together. We've got the filler cap on and Simon is giving it its test in reassembled mode. I've also attached the front coupling because I want to be able to run around a train with this and reverse. The last thing that I need to do is reattach these connecting pipes and I think I need to glue those. So I'm gonna use super glue and a pin to get a tiny amount of glue in just the right place and see if I can glue them back on. For the last part of our video today, we're gonna to see the M7 with two lovely Southern Region coaches running gracefully off the incline and up the traverser. Well spin. It should be all right with just the two southern coaches because they're nice light coaches. I know it's easy too. That's fast. Yeah. Slow it down a bit, Simon. It is. Oh, good boy. Well done. Nice and elegant across the points. Bring it to a stop. Well, that's a successful test, I'd say. What do you think, Simon? Yeah. It doesn't get much better than that. Oh, yeah. Simon.